Hey everybody, welcome to Stream Coco! Oh yeah! We're here today with Moses Storm. <laughs> you want him to start directly on your Yeah, face? I like, and look at this. Yeah. We. It's a, it's a, yeah. we. Um, Moses, uh, amazing actor and comedian. I said actor, by the way. Yeah, I'll take it. Exactly. He was in, uh, much more respect. what's the amazing YouTube series you're in? Uh, Youth and Consequences. Yes! Yeah. I saw it. He played Hook. Oh, he's you're the, the view. Uh, I, yeah, I, you're the I'm view. the one view. Actually, I'm the 100 views. Uh, a little obsessed with that series. You should check it out. It's on YouTube. Uh, Moses, it, you obviously Too know... obsessed. It's become a problem. There's a cease and desist with it's all weird. the cast members. I know. And all the team cast members. It's weird. <laughs> I got this tattoo. I'm hoping he'll sign it later. <laughs> uh, Moses, as you uh, all well know, uh, hosted our, with Chris Red, hosted our uh, Comic-Con live pre-shows last yeah. year. And now we're starting something very exciting and new tonight with Moses. Tell them what it is, Moses. It's the Up and Up. It's the first Team Coco live show that's happening yes. uh, monthly. Mm -hmm. So it's it's all the Team Coco people putting it together. And it's a live show that's happening in Los Angeles with all people from the, the Conan show. So like yeah, friends so, of the show. So give, give, them, give them some, uh, give them a little so taste. Tonight, Who's it going to be? Is there a bigger be? friend of the show than Pete Holmes? There is no bigger There's friend. No bigger friend. So Pete Holmes is that's my right. guest tonight. We're going to be sitting down and talking with him. It's basically Conan, Pete Holmes, Andy Richter. Right. Yeah, exactly. He's number two friend of the show. Where are you on that list? I'm not on that list. Okay. <laughs> you're, you're making the list. I'm that's, on the, yes. That's half the honors. I'm the puppet master. Okay. I make the lists. And then we have stand-up comedy from, from Ron Funches. Yes. Lori Kilmartin, who's a writer on the show. is very funny. Hilarious. Uh, Matt Bronger, who's been on the show many, many times. Amazing. And, uh, and and someone uh, who's running their set, who's about to be on the Conan show. That's awesome. So here live, you get you see established comedians, you see up and coming comedians. Is there going to be a band, perhaps? Yeah, beta play. What? That's, that's crazy. Unreal. So it's, it's really cool. Eureka's going to up and up tonight. We got that's some people so cool. in the chatter are going. That's fantastic. It's at a theater called Dynasty Typewriter in Los Angeles. In it's the great. Bustling Koreatown. Absolutely. Uh, it's um, yeah. I think there might be some tickets still available. The, there's a link in my bio. Yeah, get them before they're gone. <laughs> they might be gone. Uh, yeah, and and you can you can get tickets if you go to uh, at Team Coco, uh, yeah. our Instagram. There's a link on that, which is fantastic. Is that right, Beth? That's true. That's true. That's Perfect. True that I just say things. To, no one's sitting over there. I say things. Yeah, I say you things. And Beth, there's no person over there. there. Exactly. There's no person. It's actually me. I threw my voice. <laughs> well, this whole time, Beth has just been a, a ventriloquist dummy. Oh, uh, actually, so it's scary. the reverse. She does the voice, and I'm the puppet. That's how it actually no puppet, goes. No puppet. There's no puppet. All right. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Fair enough. Um, so there we go. Uh, Funches. People are excited. So we're going to play a game today uh, about friendship and teamwork. Wow. Are you ready? Yeah. Are you ready for this? That's it. That's how I we mean, great friendship Is this how we starts. do it? Is, are you ready for this? Are and you ready? A cold a, handshake. A cold, like, a, like a stone found at the bottom of the ocean. Yeah, exactly. And with as much personality. <laughs> uh, and it's this game called A Way Out. Now, I don't know. Have you heard about this game? The way out. A way um, out. Is this the one where they they uh, they break out of prison? Yes, that's yes. it. That's it. And like so a good, like, exactly, like a good friend. He already knew what I was talking about. I believe it's like two brothers, and they. Nope, that's wrong. Not uh -huh. brothers. Okay, so I'm out. Not even close. Uh, now, do you want to be the guy with the sideburns? Or do you want to be the guy with the uh, shitty looking goatee? I want to be terrible sideburns or I shitty goatee. Oh, uh, terrible sideburns. Yeah, I'll be Conan <laughs> in 2004 <laughs> when he had Perfect. sideburns. <laughs> Perfect. All right, so move the, move your uh, thing over to the right, if you'd be so kind. All right, Leo. I'm going to turn this bad boy up. Leo and Vincent. We're going to have to work together, which is uh, different than how we normally work, which is right. against each other. Uh, so, hit X for me. The, the creator of this game, a Swedish guy, said this. he's so confident in this game that he said if you don't like the game, you can, this is the real thing he said, you can fly to Sweden and you can, you could cut off his leg with a chainsaw. Oh my God. Now, can I say I don't like the game just to cut a man's leg off with a chainsaw? Right. Because that's on my bucket list. Right. I have a really weird bucket list. What's, what's something that's on your bucket list uh, for real? Do you have a real bucket list? Uh, no, there's like places I want to travel. Because um... I know you've been to Iceland. I've been to Iceland. Just cr that's on my bucket list. Right? It's chain cutting off a man's leg with a chainsaw. Yeah. That's actually one and two. That's <laughs> the first right two slots. Two. Okay. Uh, and then Iceland. <laughs> and then it's cutting off another man's yeah. leg. I'm really into cutting off of legs with chainsaws. <laughs> I don't know. It's a thing I'm into. I don't want to get into it. Um, you know what I'm hearing is no sound on the game. Why do you think would that be? All right. So uh, this is going to work out well because I'm on the left. Yeah. Um, so it looks like we are just entering... Yeah, we're just Crazy. entering uh, this, they, they which is great. They let us in the machine area immediately? That's right. Uh, well, yeah, so we're, we're continuing a game that I started. Okay. 
Okay. Uh, so basically, we I'm not so we're trying to smuggle a wrench. This is all part of our um, this is all part of our escape plan. We're trying to smuggle a wrench to our cell. We got to work together. So I'm gonna plane some wood. I can okay. Do this all day. Oh Jesus oh, Christ! Whoa. There we go. There we go. All right. I guess there's just no sound. Uh, we gotta guess to get it through here. Um, that's all right. Um, Hail Mouse. I, I hate to do this to you. Before you do that, would you mind moving the the box to the middle? Yeah. I'm gonna stop planing the uh, the wood. I think. You know what? I never. So I was a I camp counselor for a little while. Hey. Oh. Hey. Is what that? do you want? Oh. What do I want? Yeah. What do you want? Incredible dialogue. <laughs> Riveting dialogue. Oh my god. Wow. That's amazing. Meanwhile, I'm over here banging a hammer. Uh, banging it. Oh, yeah, so you, you, you make down the, the attitude. Yeah, I think. Yeah, there we go. So you're going to go to the left and then press square. This doesn't look suspicious, right? Me just continuing to hammer one thing, one nail. Uh, there's a secret room near the sawmill machine, says OG. Well, you know what? I'm going to check that out right now. You talk to this guy. Keep that dude occupied. I want you to turn down that attitude a little. <laughs> I, want I want to turn down that accent I don't have a little. An attitude. Right? See? The there saw you machine. Go. Come on, man. I'm just trying to do my job here. No swap. Oh, all right. Wow. So we got a little swap. We got a little wow. swapsies. Oh, so now it's just us. Uh, so wait a second. You were just in uh, Tacoma. It was in Tacoma, you were just in Washington, Spokane. and then Spokane, Washington. Oh, it's Spokane. It's not Kane. It's can, right? Can, Spokane. yeah. Spokane, it's, it's not Spokane. It's spelled cane, but it looks like, yeah, yeah but how you say it is Typical can. Washington. Does anyone live there? We did. Now, did you see any ghosts in Spokane? Uh, no. I, worse, I saw the people. Oh! Thing. Wow! No, I didn't see any ghosts. Damn! Is it, notable? is it haunted? There's one extremely haunted hotel there, the Davenport Hotel. It's one of the most haunted hotels. That's where I stayed. Oh, I my God. That's did you, exactly That's where, where I, I stayed there, and I saw a ghost. Did you see any right? ghosts? I saw zero ghosts. Really? Also, if you're a are you ghost a... and you're already bending the spirit world, why are you going to hang out in Spokane? Well, that's a you good can point. You go anywhere. That's a good point. That's it's a, a very nice hotel, but though. You know what? That's why I think ghosts don't exist, because, um, you know, like, hey. Brad Pitt's shower isn't full of ghosts. Like, you know, it would just right. be people going. Right. I would Notable immediately. people would be haunted. Yeah, exactly. I would just immediately follow around, like. Well, I would follow around like Michelle Gondry or somebody like cool, <laughs> like because I'm weird, weird nerd. Into your yeah. life. Or like Stephen King, I'd be, I'd like haunt Stephen yeah. King. Who would you haunt? Is there a specific person besides the people in this room? Because I know you're obsessed. It would be with like it would be like my own friends, just be out of insecurity. Let's see if they're talking about. It. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> right. Just be really petty. <laughs> it's the pettiest of ghosts. Oh, Steam's headquarters are in Washington. Uh, Washington says started W. I love X Files. You know what? I, I do think, I am going to say, I, uh, I'm i not super into ghosts, but I do believe in cryptozoology, you know, like what? like yetis and stuff. Okay. You know, like stuff like like, like beasts. Yeah, they can, just things they can never get a good photo of. Yeah, exactly. Like things that beasts. someone always drops the ball on. Right. Yeah, somebody is like, oh, that's a flipper, but is it? I'm into cryptozoology. Like the chupacabra. Have you ever gone on one of those hunts? No. Where you can, like, uh, they have some guy takes you out there. They have chupacabra hunts? I'm sure if there's enough following around anything, you could, yeah. Someone someone has said, yeah, some idiots are. I love it. I'm 100% in. But there's, there's Bigfoot excursions you can go on? Sure. I'm just doing, I think I'm just learning different tools, different wood shop tools at this point. I think we're just learning, I'm learning in the real lead. time how to work in a prison. Exactly. Sasquatch is the Missing unofficial state said. animal of Washington. The Sarsquatch. Um, how are you getting your hands on these tools? I'm just doing nothing but just talking I don't know. Together. Wait, what are we supposed no, to do? We're supposed to smuggle a wrench to our cell. I'm trying to concentrate. This is, by the way, exactly how we would be if we were in a prison. We'd, right? Uh, just like, <laughs> I was just trying woo! to make a friend, and this guy said, yeah. calm down, I'm trying to concentrate. Oh, the wrench is right here. here. Are you getting so stressed out oh, wait, this guy is going to be... Listen, if I don't do this right, oh, you know what? The Come on over here and so, talk to this guy. Well, I'm, I'm going to steal the wrench from him. Okay. How about that? Okay, I'm, I'm trying to get out of this conversation. Oh, my God, you're just making friends wherever you go. <laughs> I really can't. This guy made exactly. me come to his in Improv 101 class. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Hey man, I gotta bring like six friends. Is it cool? Okay, I'm chatting him up. Yeah, look at me stealing this wrench. Whoa. Oh, Ooh, snap! He's definitely not gonna notice that it was a dude just standing behind him for right? 20 minutes. 
Where's my wrench? All right, now we got to go back to the cell. How do we do that? We got to get past the uh, metal detector with that. Oh, we, is there a metal detector? Oh, there is. Right? Oh, shit. Okay. Wait, do you want to go through the metal detector and then I'll kind of stand over with in this, this area? limo driver who's guarding? <laughs> <laughs> Your Uber's here. Wait, you're right. I need to go to the airport. Hey, can't even chat him up. How can do you get past this? But can you just go through? I can go through. Well, there we go, yeah. I ain't got anything. Come on over, come on over here, man. Let's see yeah. how this is going to work. And what? Pass him the wrench. Pass him the wrench, please. Pat. Oh man! No one, no one notices us over here. Yeah, what this the? This door's telling me something. Maybe we gotta go over here or something. Let's. Oh no, no! Don't go through the. Oh no, no! no. You ass! Don't move. Hey, what are you up to, Dad? Oh, come How did on. you know I wasn't supposed to go in there? Huh? How did you know I wasn't supposed to go in there? No, I mean I think you are supposed to go in there. I wasn't supposed to go in there because oh. I had the wrench on me. You went through the metal detector. I'm, I'm real should... dumb. You should choose another partner for uh, escape. Oh, here you go. <laughs> All right, we have. The okay, wrench. we got back to this point. All right, now is there an area where I can just go? I'm gonna jog. Or, oh wait, investigate. Oh look at this. Ooh, what's this? You could use this hatch. Oh okay. Oh, okay. Got it. Got it. All right. Uh, Moses, where can people follow you on all your uh, Soch? At Moses Storm. No one else wanted that name. On the Soch. It was very easy to come by. On the old. I, I, uh, I like that you're saying Soch. I'm kind of into it. I'm into abbreviating words these days. Right? You know, like life is that too short to you. say full words. <laughs> you know. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. Can you make something? The character on the left I looks like a guy from Clerks. Yeah, I do look like Dante uh, from Clerks. That's very true. I'm not even supposed to be here today. Exactly. We're one of the trailer park boys. Dreaming Psycho. When's the? Oh yeah, he does look like Julian. Yeah. Yeah. The uh, the guy with the. Um... I heard they're making a trailer park well. boys uh, cartoon. Really? Yeah, I think so. Oh cool. You guys check out the trailer park boys. Bubbles is that's one of my favorite. That's why we're characters. here. We're really plugging the trailer yeah, park that's boys. That's exactly what it is. Um, and wait a second. Can you go through? The goddamn metal detector. Yeah, what was this hatch that he was talking about? Well, I think you got to open the hatch from the other side. Okay. So let me get over there. Yeah. Uh, AP doesn't open. Oh, hi, I got nothing. AP Master, we're playing this on PS4. It's called A Way Out, and we're here with Moses Storm, who is uh, the host of the brand new live monthly comedy show. Up and Up. Up and Up at Dynasty Typewriter in yes, Los Angeles, so California, good. United States of America. I don't know this. It's zip in code. the United States of America. Yeah. <laughs> so it's in the US. Castle problem? I did find something behind here. Oh, here we go. Oh, perfect. Oh, this is going to be so great. The hidden wrench oh, thing. Oh, wow. Perfect. Oh, pass it. Boom. Look at that. Whoa. That was really. What are these? These bricks are just made of sugar? I think they're just sugar bricks. He just kicked it. He did yeah. a light. A light <laughs> tap of his foot, and he shattered a brick. Tap, tap, tap. I love these socks, by the way. Let's get those on. Let, let's see these socks there. Look at these. Another reason to Look come to uh, Up and Up tonight. Because are you going to be wearing these angle? socks or different? This, this is great. This is a great angle. Uh, it's going to be. Uh, are you going to be yes. wearing these socks or yes, other yes, socks? Yes, yes, yes. That's fantastic. I love these socks, except for the fact that it tells you like what side is which. Like, see that oh, analog no. there? Like, are these no. Iron Man socks? Wait a second. <laughs> There's are these way too much technology. Kind of Tony to these Stark. Socks. This looks like the Mark III these are uh, from Iron Man Two. Orthopedic socks. Orthopedic <laughs> socks. Keep my blood pressure down. <laughs> <laughs> Smuggle the wrench to yourself. So now, oh, perfect. now I'm going to go through, through here because I have the wrench. Nice. All right, now where do we got to go? Let's go down here. Da, da, da. By the way, this is a very uh, uh, um, not well kept prison. There's no one watching us. No tax dollars have gone into this prison. The lighting is terrible. And we're stealing a wrench. This is the prequel to Super Mario Brothers. Oh, shite. All right, the dude's oh, feeling no. up legs. Really? Uh, over uh, here. Don't come through here, man. Oh, I'm gonna... just oh, you know uh, I'm hanging go. out by this. You know the drill. You no know the inmates. wrench. Can you get to this room? Mm -hmm. Oh, Eureka has a sock obsession. What are your Whoa. favorite... Uh, Can't go either way. Secret Spider-Man. That's true. Spider-Man from the knee down. Uh, what, do you have a favorite... How did you get into weird socks? I'm sorry. <laughs> fashionable socks. Um, um, uh, I have no personality. <laughs> <laughs> I'm all sock. Of all sock. I'm all, I'm all sock. like, uh, maybe people will talk about the sock. <laughs> I don't know. It's just a fun way to express yourself. It's a little me secret. Do you have, uh, speaking of secrets, do you have a, now as a performer, <laughs> do you have a superstition about your socks before you go on? Oh, not at all. I have no. zero superstitions. 
Uh, I do have a thing where like I step right foot on the plane first. It does nothing. You just th that's uh, clearly a superstition, Mister Zero. But uh, but all the time I, I I mess it up or forget it and then I'm completely <laughs> fine with it. <laughs> Which it's is why you've been in so many plane crashes. Right? <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. I'm you gotta remember that. Multiple. <laughs> do you have any superstitions? Uh, oh, I'm incredibly superstitious. I'm superstitious to the point of uh, embarrassment. Okay. But but it's weird because I have to be. I'll do a thing like, like where, uh, like even ones that don't matter. First yeah. of all, none of them matter. But even things that like I'll make up on the spot. Uh, this is what's called being crazy. I'm just gonna put it out there. Okay. So like I let's say things aren't going well in my life, which is 99 percent right. of the time. I'll be like, what? I'll be walking down the street and like, if I walk past this pole before that bus goes past it, then things are gonna turn around, and then I start oh, wow. running for the pole. So randomly, someone watching me from across the street just sees a person walking and then just like running. Running. Like, why do I do that? It's crazy. It's, I just make it up on the spot. That's not a superstition. Like, beat the. No, it's like an anxiety or bus almost pole. a, a uh, small form of OCD. I would say a, possibly a large form. Uh, sir, uh, these days, I've gotten to the point where uh, I need to drink water in, in odd number sips. Oh, no. Yeah. So it's like, and that's weirdly made me start swallowing a lot of air, so I burp a lot now. Yeah. Because I only can drink, like, I'll drink it, and I'll be like, oh, man, wait, that was sip four. I got to sip five, and I swallow air, and then I burp. Guys, it's a mess. If anyone knows how to, for me to stop doing this. So if someone's like, if you get your odd number of sips, and then everyone's like, let's all toast, and then you have to drink that drink. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, yeah. yeah. Well, that would be okay, because it's just one sip. It's an odd number yeah. sip. But yeah, but I have to then do three. Like, oh, let's do two more toasts. Ah, this guy <laughs> needs to do it. Ah, this guy. You know, like, um, yeah, 100%. All right, I'm walking back to the cell, man. But maybe I'll do a little bit of a jog, you know? Get my cardio in. So rarely yeah, do I get out of the cell. Cardio in. Uh-oh, uh-oh. What did I do? Let's go. Oh, I told them that there's someone's dealing drugs down, down there. So nice. I got him away from this door. Now, wait, I'm worried because there's a chauffeur outside my cell. That's your cell? Yeah, so wait, do you need to come up and maybe distract this dude for me? Did you already get past here? Are you upstairs? Uh, a path, a path the, uh, Inc. says, do Blair or Storm have any... Do people call you Storm? Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. I got Blay. You got Bl Yeah, you really... Ugh, that sounds That's like something, a... something, though? Sounds like a failed kind of yogurt. Right? You know, like, Blay. Blay. <laughs> do you, have you ever been to prison? Uh, I shouldn't or have to think this long. <laughs> <laughs> I've been to jail to bail people out. Oh, okay. Yeah. Fair enough. Fair I've enough. Uh, been to where my brother was in jail. Just like, you know, not like prison. He didn't stab me. Yeah. Right, right. And uh, in my, into my dad's jail. <laughs> so. Perfect. Uh, they called him Storm in there. <laughs> uh, what, what block are you at? So, uh, yeah, oh, there, there I am, yeah. I just started a rumor for no reason. I thought I was helping. <laughs> yeah. uh, I, I, but I just started a rumor that someone was dealing drugs downstairs. No, I'm, I, I mean, they're never going to trace it back. They'll never find you again. Oh, I'm wait. Prison gossip. Yes. So you have the rights, right? Yeah. Wait, so... You need... Maybe I can chat this guy. Let's go. Inside. Oh. Perfect. Whoa, whoa, Do whoa. Do I have a wall? Is that a wrench in your pocket? All right, here we go. Shake down. Up against the bars. Oh, the shit. What? Did you hear me? I said up against oh, the Oh no, bars. wait. Oh shit. That's not good. I'm getting shook down. How uh -oh. do I get out? Oh no. I'm just in my cell. Oh no, shit. You're gonna find Is there anything you can oh, do? Wait, 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 wait. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, oh yes. Boom. Oh, look at this move. As long as Woo! they don't look behind them. <laughs> oh god, hide it, hide it. Not here. Should hide it somewhere else. Okay. Oh, God. Can you flush it down the toilet? Under my bed. Human horse. Drugs aren't allowed in prison. How would you know, human horse? You are going to flush it down the toilet. I am. Oh, well, you've got it. Behind the toilet. That's great. Got one of those That's toilet like doors it. that are so popular in prison. in my body. That's right. <laughs> oh, now they're going to shake me down. Act natural. Just. Dude, be natch. Be totes notch. This prison Whoa. warden is getting paid really well. Look really at this Really well. Right. This is <laughs> his. This is a private prison. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. His money is in private prisons. It's one of those charter prisons. <laughs> this is literally a how-to game if you ever get incarcerated. You know, I do wonder yeah. about that. With all like the video games I've played in my life, 
I kind of like wonder if there was an apocalyptic scenario. How, how do you think you would do, like let's say zombies, it was World yeah. War Z for real. Hey, baby. How would you, what's your strategy, how would you do? I think now in my head it would be like, oh yeah, I would I would do everything I would do in a game. I would yeah. find a, a bat and go for the head. But yeah. in that actual situation, I think I would panic and forget all that and just start apologizing a bunch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> or I would pretend to already be zombified so they wouldn't get me. See, that's smart. Use some of that sick acting Boy. skills from yes. YouTube Red. That's great. And... Uh, <laughs> And just already pretending, like, ah, oh, they already got me. Right. I'm pretty See, bummed that, out about this. I think that's a great strategy. And that has worked. I, I think that worked in, uh, in um, what was the, uh, oh, my God, the Simon, what's his name? Uh, Simon Pegg. Yeah. What's that movie I'm thinking of? A Shaun of the Dead. Shaun of the Dead. They do that Shaun of the Dead. They, they wipe goo on themselves, the zombie goo, and yeah. then they do the thing. That seems like a viable strategy. Hide in plain sight. Plain sight. I like that. I think there's. Are you drinking oh, beer? I I, uh, I, said, I, I fill these refreshing beer. cans with beer. That's true. Oh, okay. Absolutely. I they say never mix, uh, you know, beer and wine. I say, don't tell me what to do. Don't tell me what to do. Mm-hmm. You're not my wife. You're not my. Yeah. I do think though. I've always thought of myself as like a very resourceful kind of tough guy. I'm a big yeah. guy, right? Yeah. I have a lot of ironic T-shirts. I think I would do fairly <laughs> Everything well. Everything you associate with a tough guy. <laughs> but then there was one night where. Our power went out, and I live in this apartment building with an underground garage. Okay. And I had to go to my car for something. So the power's out, and so I go downstairs, and it was all black. And I and the the front gate was open, and I was like, oh my god, anybody could be down here. And I was and then I I was faced with now this is Beverly Hills. The, yeah, this is right. This is really be anyone down here. And I didn't do it. I was too scared. And I just went back and went before. I was like, I'll get my dialysis really? tomorrow. You know, I was like, fine. <laughs> That's where I keep my dialysis machine. This was last car. night and you've been shaking the whole yes, stream. Exactly. Um, but yeah, so, and I was, when faced with a real situation, yeah. I was a huge scaredy cat. So yeah. I think I would just hole up and, and die a very sad, lonely death in an apocalypse. That's how I feel about all those like self-defense techniques yes. as well of yes, like yes. oh yeah the, grab the back of their wrist right, and twist right. to the left yes. it's like when you're being attacked and you're just yeah. flailing you're not going to remember like could, <laughs> exactly. you, could you actually move your arm please, <laughs> yeah. so I could grab your pressure points <laughs> can you come at me like this with yeah. the knife yeah can I hit one of your Reiki points could you hold still <laughs> exactly do you watch any Street Fighter streams there's a commentator that's a doppelganger of Conan I, I don't oh, wow. uh, but that probably means that they're Irish because every yeah. Irish person looks like Conan um, what, Lost in Twitchverse says, I will do everything I want to and then kill myself. In the apocalypse? Oh, good. Oh, I, I see what you're just saying. just like a cry for help. Yeah, I was like, like, wow. Yeah, you got to go into hard counseling. You got to specify there, man. That's a, uh, that's a <laughs> strong statement. Kill yourself. That's a great way. That's a great way out. Uh, KHC Stewie says, Aaron, please take another picture for the thumbnail. Your head is driving me insane. I have that effect Uh-oh. on most women. Uh, it's How so? Horrifying. I think what it is is in a photo, mm-hmm. in a photo, in real life, I have a very large forehead. I think I do too. I, I don't know, man. But you know what? You got a great hair thing going on. My I hair thing is just it. like let's all go up. Forehead to forehead. I feel like this is. I can, measuring sticks. I can out. feel the lice <laughs> leaving my head and jumping <laughs> on your head. They're like, there woohoo! You know. Vacation. Um, yeah, I don't know. I feel like my four and my. I don't know. It's weird. Uh, there's a lot happening. And here, then man. people will say it bothers. Please <laughs> change the photo. It bothers. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, if you guys are just joining us, we're playing a way out with Moses Storm, who is yes. the host of the New Team Coco monthly live show, yes. Up and Up at, Di- at uh, Dynasty, Dynasty Typewriter, Typewriter. Yeah. Uh, downtown in LA. Go to uh, at Team Coco's social channels for tickets. There's still maybe a few available tonight. Yeah, the first show is tonight. Exactly. We got Pete Holmes. We got Rod Fletcher, Gloria Kilmartin. Uh, we Matt got Matt Bronger. Bronger. Uh, we got the band Beta, Beta Play. Play. And and what else can people expect? Uh, me. Some, com- of, some, uh, some comedy, perhaps? Yes, some comedy, very absolutely. Exciting, very it's exciting. our first show, so a lot of harsh transitions, <laughs> terrible production value. Uh, a lot of me looking flustered. <laughs> and, um, and then uh, and then everyone else doing a great job. It's yeah. going to be a really good show That's going to be amazing. A lot of laughter, either uh, by embarrassment or by uh, on purpose. Absolutely. It'll be, you know, you, it's win-win. That's the great thing about comedy. I don't really care. You can laugh with me. You can laugh at me. It's all laughter to me. Right. I don't. I just don't. I'm laugh blind. You know. I don't. I have laugh blindness. I just. Uh, 
Oh, wait, what's happening? Here? I'm uh, uns- using this wrench now. Perfect. We're just doing some tune-ups. Hand it over. We're doing some tune-ups here. Yeah, what? We're just we're just fixing this prison. Oh, I have uh, what your brother calls a five head. Thank you. That's so nice. See, that's what I'm saying. Laugh blindness. Four head. Yeah, five head. I can add an extra inch. Five so many head. heads. Um, I I have to say I've seen a lot of handles in my day. This one has to be my favorite. <laughs> Thick Samuel, Samuel Tarly. Tarly. That's amazing. I know exactly what you look like. That's. <laughs> I know that is that is probably the, one of the best <laughs> names. Thick Samuel. Are you a Game of Thrones fan? Yeah. Oh, I can't. I cannot wait for the last season. The, the next one is the last season, right? It's, that's it. Yeah. That's it. And I love. I've always said like I love when. Um, shows end because they make choices people die things happen you know like i hate the episodic you know like friends nothing ever happens until the end and it's always a double wedding you know like right whereas like game of thrones and a lot of these streaming shows you know like breaking bad is a good example of that like it ended and so they could kill people off and things happened you know yeah. Um, well, yeah. Same thing with youth and consequences. You know, like yeah. everyone died. Sorry. It was a, it was a hard end. Yeah. People yeah. are like, yeah, let's end this. Yeah. I saw one episode. Let's end it now. Let's make a big I saw choice. One episode. Let's kill everyone off. <laughs> I saw one episode. I saw one episode. Snip, snip, snip. Kill the characters off. Clear ending now. Clear ending. Um, how was how was doing that show? Where did you guys shoot it? In uh, Ogden, Utah. Ogden, which Utah. Is, yeah, it's about an hour north of Salt Lake City, and their main export is dog food and the smell of dog food. Is that true? Yeah. Wow, that's so crazy. They, they cook dog food in that town. It's one of the bigger bigger companies that. That's makes amazing. Dog food. So the entire town, the aroma is is uh, all dog food. Did you? Did it make you love or hate dog food? Oh, hate it. Okay. You know when you open a, a new bag of dog food, it's that smell constantly. Because you know what, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna lie. I have eaten dog biscuits in my life. Uh, college was a interesting time for me, full of experimentation. You had to get um, into that sorority somehow. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. I love like my experiment, uh, experimentation in college just was me eating different things I shouldn't eat. <laughs> eat it. What does this lizard food taste like? Right. Instead of like anything with girls, but you know. And this was last year when you were hanging out around a lot of college this campuses. Last year, yeah. I'm, I'm on the extended uh, work release program. This is my 13th year in college. I take, you know, what I like to do. I like to just take like one credit a year. Just yeah. Really give myself <laughs> a simmer. Photography math. Yeah. Ex- photo- <laughs> exactly. Uh, what did you learn by doing Youth in Consequences? Was there anything? Was that your first YouTube Red series? That was my first like teen drama show. Whoa! Wow. Um, yeah. I don't know if I learned anything. Because um, a little birdie told me that you have a certain uh, a look that you kind of patented, uh, perhaps. Oh, uh, a certain... Uh, a certain, perhaps, uh, a certain yeah. move. Oh, yeah, if you play, like, a bad boy in a show. If you play a bad boy. Yeah, can we actually go full screen real quick? <laughs> so, in a, a bad boy it. in any show from That's right. from probably uh, Dawson's Creek uh-huh. to, to Riverdale. All the shows. All the shows. If anyone's ever a bad boy in, in a teen drama, they yes. do a signature move. It's in every single one, and I got to do it in this one. And that is uh, just getting exhausted from just turning around. So the bad boy will he'll enter a scene, and he'll just go, hey. <laughs> Already went it. It's the best move. It's so fun. It's a long it's so way fun. to go from here to here. Yeah? It's a long way. And you're so bad. And you're so against the rules. So just turn around. Oh, Lost in oh, Twitch great. first loves it. It's a great move, and you do it very well. I like how the link to Youth and Consequences in there. Yeah, heck yeah. That's Beth. Beth Morales. Yeah, the Reggie look. It's basically that. <laughs> My favorite thing ever. Just try it in your everyday life. You'll have so much more fun with your life. <laughs> yeah, I might work that into my... Just current looks. My look catalog. People think you're a bad boy. Exactly. Do you have any other looks that you like to do just in real life? Do you have any other moves? Because one of my favorite is this one. Can you go full screen? One of my favorite is this one. The uh, and that you use this. This is a prop. This is a prop thing. Okay. But like, if there's a uh, somebody you like, you know, like you have a crush on or something, and they come up to you, you have to pretend to not be interested. Yeah, okay. so I have the, the I have this because you know you don't want to inside you're like oh but right. you know and you do one of these I'm like I uh, like an old English woman in yeah. a play <laughs> yeah my <laughs> star, my stars and garters uh, it's like this I'm like this like a hey like one of the you know just a slow kind of look Wait, up that's like, good oh no it's not good it's terrible it, oh, it makes okay. you it, no it's a terrible a move slow look but it's a bottom. move that I do often a kind of a slow look up like it's you start 
What happens is you start with the eyes. Okay. You start, I'm just going to do it real into camera. Terrifying. What is it? You start with the eyes, and then you come right up like that. That oh looks God. really and shiny. And you've walked yes. up to her at this point. <laughs> You're that close. You're that you close. Directly You're up right to her face. Here. Oh, yeah. hey, didn't see you there. Yeah, it's terrible. It's not um, I, I, I had done that move before where I pretended to be on my phone. Oh, yeah. I uh, was in a Ralph's grocery store, and I saw an X coming. So I wanted to be like, oh, I don't know for some reason. I'm, oh, no. I'm busy. I got a whole oh, life yeah. going on. Why do we do this? And because I was not looking... And, and pretending to be on my uh, phone, I was like also picking out blueberries because I was like, oh, this will be cool. I'm like, look how healthy I'm eating. Gonna use the blueberry move. Yes. <laughs> so I'm pretending to be on my phone and loading up blueberries I have no intention of buying. Just so when she sees me, it looks like this. So Nine I, packs of blueberries. Since I'm not looking, I end up dropping a pack of blueberries. Oh, no. And I don't know if you know this about blueberries, but they're probably the rolliest of all the fruits. <laughs> so rolly. They hit the ground and they go. Ev you know that scene in the Mummy where the bugs come out of the ground? It's that, but just blueberries everywhere. It was the large pack for like if you're making a pie. They roll out right to her feet, and she's like, "Moses." And I'm like, "Becca, hey." Should have said her real name, but I, said, I was like, "Becca, how are you?" And then like uh, managers are helping me clean up. And, oh and, man. And oh, no. it gets even worse because the plastic from the package, because I tried to save it before it dropped, had slashed my hand. Oh my so now there is blood running down my arm oh, over blueberries. The manager's like, you got to come with me. I have to fill an accident report. They gave me a gift card to Ralph's, provided I don't talk about it in any public platform. Perfect. That money's long spent. And I had to like sit on the check stand while they like wrap my hand. And the check stand is is like it's it's this height, so your legs just dangle. So I just look like a little child being being tended to. So the, the phone move completely backfired. Do not pretend to be on your phone. Oh my god. Oh good lord. Follow this guy at Moses Storm. You can, there's more of this. There's more I came That's from. That's right, covert cowboy. I'm oh Moses my Storm. God, good lord. Yeah, I think uh, I've definitely done some. I mean, my whole thing. I've you know bumped into stuff. I don't know that I've ever <laughs> done a spill than a slice. I've never done the spill yeah. slice move. It's coming though. I think no, it's it coming. was it was truly shocking. Exactly. Yeah. I could, I could that bad. You exactly. Cheated. What? Oh, I love this. Y'all should be fired. Really, really. Team Coco, uh, we look high and in dirty clothes playing games probably on the clock. Uh, Absolutely. Yeah, no, I agree. I, Absolutely. Yeah. But here's the thing. We come in and they pre-dirty our clothes. Yeah, to be fair. We come in in $4,000 suits, like the, <laughs> like the head of this prison. <laughs> like, and they're like, we like want you to relate to the people that are on this stream. So they throw dirt at us. <laughs> like a couple of prison wardens. Oh, man. Who's... What? You're 25 on? and you could be Blaze's long lost brother. <laughs> no. I wish it was a way to send a photo. Yeah. Oh, God, Hope no. It's not mean. Oh, what do no. people say you look like? Uh, the dad on Family Ties. Uh, Newt Gingrich. Okay. Uh, when I was a little heavier. Actually, they called me Newt at work for a long time. When you work with comedy writers, it's not great. Yeah. Um, and this was in the early 70s. This was. A, yeah. <laughs> uh, a new, I get a Newt Gingrich. I get. Uh, that's it. It's only the dad from Family Ties. And New Gingers, who do you get? Who do you get? It's less celebrities and more like people are like, oh my God, you look just like my friend. Don't worry, she's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh, I guess thank you. Like, no, it's the male version. But it's always <laughs> the male It's version. always a woman. Oh, man. I don't know. I mean, I guess you. I, I don't. I don't think you. You would make a beautiful woman. I think. Thank you. Yeah. I mean, you have good bone structure. I feel like no visible facial scars unless you've covered them up with prosthetics. It's, it's, my face is basically just one scar. It's just one huge scar. Yeah. That perfect. Out. It's like uh, you know the Mel Gibson Man Without a Face situation. Yeah. Yeah. Look it up, kids. That's an amazing movie. Don't look it up. It's fine. Um, that's right. Uh, wait. I think we're supposed to. One of us has to distract the guards. I'm happy to do it, uh, but I'm not sure quite what to do. Should I just go over there and get caught? No, no. That's I, Well, that's what happened last time. Wait, maybe there's another way around. Wait, oh, wait. Oh, I. Oh, there's a whole other area. I didn't realize oh, okay. we could just go left. That was stupid. Elio, get over here. That's what I'm saying, Madeline Sims. Get down, get down. It takes two of us to open this thing, I think. No, wait. Come this way. Come this way. Come the... Uh, this way. Yeah, yeah, go over and then take a left instead of going by the guard. That's right. What game is this? Uh, Arch Marlin playing A Way Out. Um, 
which is a game where Moses and I are, you have to play with someone else. This is a, a co cooperative you have game. To, you have to have friends. It's hard. You have to, it is. That's the hardest part about this game is the prerequisite. Is, is making the friend. friend. If, if taking that leap and exactly. opening yourself up to someone. Yeah, you have to be emotionally vulnerable to play this. Because this guy, the last game he made, you played as two different characters, but it was one player. What's that? Say it again? Uh, the last game that this guy made. I forget his name, but he's a Swedish guy. And, um, you played as two separate characters, even though he was one person. That was oh. like the whole catch of the game. Like oh, that's kind of cool. Simultaneous. Oh, wait, we have to wait for the thunder. Oh. Oh, shit, the thunder. I know, I know. Damn it. I just want to get just a couple more like that. Really convenient. Oh, that's why they chose to break out because the weather. Yeah, that exactly. The it's the trailer. perfect yeah, it's the perfect breakout day. I was... Your guy is breaking down the door much cooler. <laughs> my guy's really not giving it. His I all. do work out my my delts, the old shoulders a bit. Right, this guy's like he, when someone's lifting a couch and they're not really doing it. Okay, great, oh, perfect. Here we go. I wish I will say uh, uh, seriously. I wish there were more moments like that in this game, uh, less distraction stuff and more like working it together. There's another part where. You have to walk up the chimney, and you both have your backs to each other. I guess this way. Yeah. And that was really fun. I would, yeah, exactly. <laughs> like a face hugger. Uh, and I wish there were more moments like that. The Joseph something. Uh, Madeline Sims says I couldn't play this game because I don't have friends. You can play online if you don't have any friends. Right. Um, or you could go on the internet and make a scary friend. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we got to take this guy down. Wait, should we? What? Just... Like take him out? This is the first. I think so. Here we go. I got him, I got him. Oh, yeah! Oh, oh, what? Boom. What do I do? You kiss him. <laughs> now, wait, now. Like I'm, I helped. Yeah, yeah. That's all I did. I like, <laughs> corner football, I would just go to where the tackle happened and just lay down and be like, ah, oh, yeah. me too. Can we just, now can we take an embarrassing selfie and like draw like a dick on his face or something? Yes. There we go. I'm going to humiliate this dead body. Exactly. Uh... Yeah, Shawshank Redemption, I get that. Yeah, it's, it's got a lot of Shawshank overtones. I, is it going to end in us in like a poop sewer? <laughs> God willing. One can only hope. Uh, hello from Washington, D.C. Hello, Smelly Feet 7. Uh, why are your feet so smelly? Uh, I, I, I was recently in Washington, D.C., and the, the monuments, that whole area is like a really cool, uh, you know. Oh, they call it the, 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 the arcade. What's it called? Not the arcade. The mall. That's yeah, what it the is. mall. The mall. Right, really historic area where there's um, where there's like there's uh, there's you know, you know, Vietnam vets mm -hmm. visiting and you know, Iraq war. It's, it's and there's school trips. But what no one tells you is on the weekend the mall is just overrun with amateur league like kickball teams. What are you doing? What? Like God. rec leagues. It is like it's like guys in their late thirties that take kickball. Way too seriously. <laughs> On your left, Marissa. Take some cuts. Take some cuts. And they're like, I, I, I. This is completely true. The guy. Let's go, this man. was a, a kickball game, or not kickball. It was like a rugby game that they were playing. Uh -huh. And the guy, he gets the rugby ball, and then there's like a, a, a veteran being pushed in a wheelchair. He jukes the veteran, goes, Ah, oh, watch it, man. Oh, and like the National Mall is oh for God, these people. Boy. It's not for your rec league. <laughs> That's crazy. This guy fought in a war so you could play your kickball. What? You're just doing, you're just getting some squats in. Yeah, I'm just yeah I'm I'm, I'm stretching my you, back out. You're pooping behind here. No, now we're just gonna do some cheerleading. This is fine. Do you have so you uh, being a a, a stand-up, you have to no wait how do I? I gotta help you out. Yeah, bro. see this is the part where you need friends. This yeah, is this is the friendship. All part. about friendship. Oh, my feel like the shinier shirts they're, got. They're very shiny. I feel like we're ready for the club. This is like boy band clothes. Exactly. Oh, here we go. Um, what's your favorite, uh, do you have a favorite town to, to perform in? Um, or should I say... It depends on the, uh, the club or the city. No, I, I like I traveling see. in general. Um, I think recently I liked Madison, Wisconsin a lot. Ooh, Madison's right? a nice Yeah, I got a college town there. Feels like good. Yeah, really cool. I, I did like, uh, Tacoma. Um, Arch Ronan said, are you guys breaking out of prison? It seems now like we're breaking back into prison? Yeah. <laughs> I feel like we were just outside. And now we're like... Bleh. Now we're in the library. Now we're going to steal this rug. This is basically Clue, I think. Uh, ooh, let's look on a globe. <laughs> Where do we want to go? Wait, what? Close what? your eyes and point. Been to Asia. Oh my god, yeah, really? Once this is all over. I That's apologize. their plan? They don't know where to go? This is crazy. Sailing the Atlantic. 
Atlantic Ocean. This is like two 19-year-old girls trying to figure out what they're going to do with their off year in college. <laughs> Just close your eyes and point. <laughs> oh my god, Uganda. Let's throw a dart at something. <laughs> there was just Coachella. Have you ever been to Coachella? Yes, I have. That voice made me immediately think. Yes, of- I have. I've just outgrown it. I'm like, oh, I don't want to do that. I don't want to be outside this <laughs> way. But yeah, I went for like maybe three years in a row. Oh, I got wow. It in. I got it in. Coachella veteran. I never did the camping thing. The camping at Coachella, I don't know. Have you guys done that? I have it not, seems I, gross. I have not done... I've only been to one giant festival like that. It was Bonnaroo. And it's because yeah. we were performing there. And so we had like an air-conditioned bus. That's, so I've never done the whole... It feels awful to me. I can't imagine getting drunk and then having to camp and then get up again and not, you know... Right, 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 right. Like a shower. Because like day one, it's fun. It's like, oh, yeah. we don't have to walk back to a hotel. Woo! We can just camp here. Yeah, But zip. then it's like... Saturday at Coachella, it's 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 a thousand degrees and there's a mile long line for the shower. Oh my! There's a sh- there, there are showers. There are, are showers, but they're like military showers where you just like pull something down and some water. <laughs> you don't know if it's clean water. It drops on you. Oh boy. It's gotten better. There's like also VIP showers where you can like shower in essentially a porta potty. And there we go. Everyone's dream. The porta shower. Yeah, and then you can see Beyonce on the main stage. Who's having yeah. a revolutionary. Yeah, I, I watched that. It was incredible. Like, yeah, unreal. Right. I also love uh, Prost of Beyonce for, for reimagining her hits as, like, uh, uh, like in a marching band style. I thought that yeah. was super cool. I love when artists do that. It's amazing. Because, they you yeah. know, they put the work in. It's like, that's great. You're doing a festival. Like, make it fun. Like, I hate... I'm not a big concert guy for that reason because I feel like, oh, I'm just hearing... I'm seeing, you know, I'm in a crappy seat... There's always some a hole in front of me, and it's like hearing the songs I've already heard right. a million times done better, done worse. And the Beyonce performance as a stand-up makes you feel terrible about what you do. <laughs> oh no, no, because there's Why? so much effort put into a performance, and it's just be up there with a microphone standing still and like, ooh, <laughs> hey, sun you know? chips are too crunchy. <laughs> you know my bits. Yeah, I, I know my like, sun chips. Bits that's a great bit. Too that's crunchy. a great bit. And then bit. they have like they're not only singing a, an actual talent but then they're dancing yes and coordination and yeah come tonight uh to uh up and up moses storm the new uh live monthly nice. team coco produced comedy uh yeah. show and you can hear his sun chips bit he <laughs> opens awesome. it's weird you open with and you close the sun chips. Uh, yes i open with it it doesn't do well at the top yeah so i'm like i know people are it's like probably a closer sun it's chips, probably a big closer yeah and then i bring it up in the middle and then i throw to a video <laughs> yeah all right, and it's a video of Conan. That, yeah. that video hard cuts out, and yeah. it's me doing the sun chips. <laughs> that. <Like that. laughs> the lights flicker, just, and you're eating. it into them. Exactly. Is it French onion? What's the sun chips, yeah, the, the flavor you like the most? You see these new sun Watermelon. chips? Watermelon. Already the premise is falling apart. Yeah. It's like, new sun chips? These have been out <laughs> since the 40s. Um, <laughs> they ate sun chips in World War II. It's always the chips. You know those variety packs of mm-hmm. chips? It's always it's always Fritos and sun chips it that is. are left. That's true. I don't know why they even put them in there. <laughs> It should just be Cool Ranch and, and Cheetos. That's it. Must be getting some deal. Right? Some deal on Sun Chips. Yeah, fill it out with Sun Chips. Um, how was filming Unfriended? It was so weird uh, because we were... It was exactly like the movie is shot where you would... We all had our own cameras in a, in a room. We're all in the same house, though. Tell, tell people what Unfriended is. Unfriended is a, is a horror movie that was shot entirely uh, via Skype, or at least the way it's presented is it's all... Got it. Screen captured like like uh, you just captured this girl's uh, screen while her friends are mysteriously being murdered. And we're dun, all trying to figure dun, out what's dun. going on. Uh, it was very weird. We were all in a house in Santa Clarita, and they had set dressed the rooms to look like different houses. Oh, and cool! You couldn't really communicate with anyone to like just like by the way we're communicating right now is mm-hmm. how you communicate with mm-hmm. someone. So you're like holding for audio pauses and things you didn't hear. Weird. Yeah, incredibly strange, and a lot of it did not work <laughs> <laughs> what was the uh uh what ends up is it a monster is it a person killing all these boys? Uh, it's being... like i think cyber bullying is it yeah it's someone that got cyber bullied at the, at the oh school. god it's it. doing, huge spoilers but also this came out in 2015 so yeah you should get on it. it yeah the statute is i mean two years yeah skype years is still a thing it's yeah it's facetime has dominated the Market. Someone asked if uh, yeah. If someone asked me to Skype, it's usually like a red flag of like what? Yeah. You just are, you're still using that. You're we're a taking these of guys two. out. Yes. Oh wait, are we? Is that our thing? We're taking these dudes out. I don't know. I've been crouching a lot. Oh yeah. Okay. Ready. 
Get him. Oh! What? Don't move a muscle, prisoner. W where are you here? You didn't get a chance. That seemed like bl oh, double team those cops. Okay. All right. What do we do when we when we approach him? Because I got just I feel close like, yeah. to him. I couldn't even. Oh, did we get past? Oh no, we have to start all the way in the hallway again. Oh. Again, I like this game, but there's not enough like partner stuff. You know, it doesn't. It doesn't feel like there's enough like us working together thing. Now we're talking about Johnny Carson's show, as you do. All right, ready? Let's let's get up here. Let's get up here. So I guess on the on the count of three. Oh. Oh God. man! Now see what they turn around right away. So what do we do? Wait, we maybe we both have to double team one cop. And the other one won't see it. I don't know. <laughs> you want to take that sentence again? Exactly. Uh, real Lord of of a, real Lord. What is that? Oh my yeah, God. Yeah, Jordan Shlansky, Lord of for President. Slam. Yeah. 2022. If you haven't seen our Conan in Italy show yet, uh, watch it. It's great. Yeah. Conan Jordan. A lot of outtakes. A lot a bunch of extra, of extra stuff. stuff up online right now. That's right. teamcococom slash Italy. Right. My favorite was the um, the truffle hunting, just that because was it was great. so clearly set up, and then Conan called it out immediately. He just, that was hilarious. We had such a fun time doing that because that, when okay. Conan, oh, are we doing one? We're doing one cop. Yeah. All right, ready? Which one? Um, guy on the right, guy on the left. Uh, let's look at the guy on the right. Yeah. All right, ready? Guy on the right. Okay, I don't. Know. Ready? Go. Got oh, it. there we go. Yes. Nice. You took your guy out real fast. You're real a good fast. fighter. Man, real nice fast. job. Also, what were I they just, doing? I just whispered in my son Chip's bed. <laughs> he, he fell asleep. He went straight down. He's just like, oh. Uh, the, the, who cares if the sun chips are too crunchy? <laughs> <laughs> it's all premise. You can just please leave this prison. Uh, all right. This is very dark. Yeah. Out here. Okay, through this window. No. Uh, it is real Dark. Wait, what come down here. This? Go to the right and go down the stairs. Go that way. Go down the stairs. Oh, shit. Oh. Oh, no. He, sa he said it after he was in the searchlight. That was bullshit. Uh, yeah, sorry. I got stuck reading your name, so I couldn't... Uh, what is your name? Lord of, Lord of Stan? Lord of... St Lord of Stan? I don't know what it is. Lord of Stan? Uh, favorite game to play? Are you, a, are you a video game guy? Do you play video games? Uh, not so much anymore, but yes, heavily. It was, became a problem Did you in, have, uh, uh -oh. in 2012. Did you have a favorite? I did. There's, there was yeah, uh, first-person shooter. So oh, Call nice. of Duty, I would even say Halo is that. Nice. Uh, all the Halos. Um, I, I'm, I'm a little shy. So you, you, you're not a big play on the road guy. You don't stay. I'm down. Are you down? Shit. Oh, come on, man. Bullshit. This should be, it would be, I think starting Debbie, it would be better if they were brothers. Don't you think there's a better backstory? Yeah. They could kind of snipe at each other. Right. Or like, maybe remember the one time you crapped your pants. Yeah, and right, right. Like that would be, that would break the tension. Yeah. The cut scenes could be us as children. And no one would wonder if it's like a will they, won't they. <laughs> Which is what right we're now, wondering now. I'm yeah. like, okay, yeah. why is he breaking him out? Did they, are they lovers? But if they're brothers, it's like, oh, we know what. Sexual tension is intense right now. Not just in the, on screen, oh, but in this room, oh. on this couch. You're oh, killing yeah, yeah. me, Smalls. Estevan. Re a real Lord Estevan. Got it. Okay. Um, what's the favorite game to play with Conan? Uh... I mean, I don't know. He's it seems terrible. like he likes all the like uh, battle, battlefront games. Like, yeah, anything that's like history. I I think my <laughs> favorite. So Any, yeah, exactly. Anything that's like he's a big war buff. So <laughs> yeah. he's just like, oh, look how accurate that is. Yes, yeah, he likes like the Life and Times of uh, Theodore Roosevelt as a game. Um, no, I, I would say anything that takes itself too seriously, because then Conan makes fun of it in that way. Yeah, anything you know? that gets too high in fantasy of like yes. orcs and. Yeah, he's he's very into things that take themselves too seriously. I'm going over this way. Here we go. Um, and it makes it easy, you know. So like Saints Row, we can't really play. Uh, games that try to be too wacky, we can't really. play. Oh no! Oh no! Oh it's no! Very hard. I guess it didn't see. Oh Jesus! I felt like it was right on me. It feels like it's on me now. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Uh, <laughs> you're, that's like such like a non-excited. Oh no! You're like oh no! Oh, oh no, no! Oh no! Oh no! 
Counter-Strike Go. Yeah, Battlefield 1, Counter-Strike Go. Atari counts. Yes, Tony, a joke LA or Jokala. Yeah, we're reading the chat. We're now. reading the chat. Oh, we're the also chats. trying to hide for our lives. Yeah. And figure out the sexual tension There's between these two characters. <laughs> so much going on right now. Alright, here we go. I'd like to see a prison game where you don't have to hide from the searchlight. You know? Let's let's be we a little. Have, they have a suit a made of mirrors. Thing. Yeah, he's a mirror suit, a, but the predator armor. You know, something like that. Uh, oh no! Oh no! Oh shit! Better avoid the searchlight. Mm -hmm. I also like when guy when games talk to themselves to tell us information. Right, like heavy-handed dialogue. Better uh oh! I better search. use this to do this. Right. I've never said that in my life. Get up there. Get some of them. Shit. What's, n what's naughty? Wee wee? Naughty? I don't know what naughty is. Um, This is on Twitch, Faust. You can also follow us on Twitch. Uh, Twitch.tv slash Team Coco. You have a Twitch channel, do you? No, not yet. Oh, interesting. I will after this. I like you. Yeah. If, if, if enough people cyber bully me in this chat, yeah. I will Perfect. get a Twitch channel. Perfect. That's how everyone gets one. Shit. You're a busy man. You've got a lot going on. Are people? Are you uh, uh, performing? Going on the road again? Can people get tickets to yeah. your show? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna be in uh, San Diego on May third. Woo! Some college. Oh, and then I'm gonna be at the Denver Comedy Works, which oh, I'm really excited about. That's one of the best oh. rooms um, in in the country. I and love it. That's uh, May 31st. So that's you got a little bit of time. That's all right. So if you live in Denver, you can come there. You got time to get the ticks, kids. And of course, tonight, come to uh, up, up and, and up, up at Dynasty Typewriter. Yes. Like, I'm stuck in this voice. Go to at. Oh, nice. I made it so far. Oh, we were so far. Of course, go to uh, at Team Coco. Any of our um, social channels on Instagram, uh, Facebook, and you can um, get tickets. You can find a ticket link there. Yeah. For this evening, uh, you're gonna see a lot of sun chips bits. You're gonna see Pete <laughs> Holmes. You're gonna see uh, good power round funches. Yeah, yeah. Um, Matt Bronger. Perhaps a Bronger, a wild Bronger may appear. Is there any other? Matt, yeah, is there there's any there's other a lot of uh, loose wild animals that we'll put <laughs> in the crowd just to keep the energy up. Yeah, Shit. it's a, a traditional Moses Storm show. A lot of wild animals. Mm -hmm. Here's the ticket link. Oh, there you go. It's in the chat. Thank you, Beth. Um, I remember when I was 12 watching Conan on my old turn knob TV. It wasn't black and white, but it was close, fuzzy, and blurred. Anyway, I'm 75 now. Well, thank you, the kid, for watching uh, when you were younger, and thank you for watching now. You can see us on this thing called the Internet, which is out there at TeamCoco.com. Moses will walk right through the waves of bullies. Yes, that's true. Absolutely. You know what? You're going to be like Neo at the end, yeah. where he just is like... You know, that's stopping the bullies in their tracks and then kicking them yes, a thousand where times. where they uh, really stretch themselves far in CGI. <laughs> exactly. With the Smith fight. Yeah. They really pushed it. They got cocky there. They like, did. We got this. They did. Yeah, someone's, yeah. Someone, we could build these characters with no spines. <laughs> that's true. I do like a, a, a slippery no spine character. Uh, can we expect a Clueless Gamer episode for God of War? I don't know. You have to wait and see. You have to wait and see. Um, I have been playing God of War, though, and it's very fun and beautiful. It's about uh, it's a very father-son relationship game. You're the God of War, and you, you're training your young son to do, to do things that you, you know, be... To, to fight in a war. Yeah. And he, but he's like, don't do it that way. It's basically like listening to my father give me gardening advice, which he did. <laughs> He's like, no, spread the mulch like this. I'm like, yes, Father. So I'm up on this ladder of the guard shack now. Oh, great. All right. Oh, my God. You're so fast. Oh, let's hurry up, buddy. You see me up there? Do you see me creeping? Cash me outside. There we go. Creep, creep, creep. Creepy creep, creeps. Creep, creep. Creeping around. Creepy creeps, creeps. Maybe I could just take him out. Oh, dude. I think you can. Do it. You got the touch. You got the power. Um, yes, it's Conan's birthday today, by the way. Yeah. Uh, yes. You, you have to uh, come upstairs and say I... Conan, wish him happy birthday. Oh my god, I want to help just, you. Can I help you with that? Oh no, you please, got it. Please, please. You got it. Tap. Tap, tap, tap. See, the games make me think I could just choke out somebody, but I don't think it'd be I, that easy in real life. Me neither. Did I get It's any? more like a hug. Yeah, it's oh. more of like... Mm. Oh, great, he turned off the light. Use that wire. 
We just need something to slide down. Dude, our belts! Haven't you seen Tango and Cash? Come on! Come on! Well, this also takes place in, what, like, the 70s? Some, yeah, something. Um, here, maybe these business cards. We can tape them together. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Finally, a use for a business card. People hand me a business card now. I'm like, what am I going to do with it? What year do you think it is? Wait, come in here and get this hanger. Yeah, get that hanger. Okay. Uh, did I get Conan anything for his birthday? No. Last year I got him a... Yeah! Woohoo! Oh. I got him a keyboard. He's obsessed with typewriters. Uh, I got him a really? keyboard that was... It's a big metal USB keyboard that's like typing on a typewriter. It has big uh, typewriter keys. And it Sweet. lights up, so I got him that last year, Sweet which he, he uses. Oh, no! But no one can top the horse. No, yes. Got. No one can top Letterman. Dave Letterman's horse. That's true. So everyone's, everyone's kind of scared to give him a gift. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, my God. Oh, no, I got him. Clang, clang. I'm getting shot at. Oh, what? my God. Oh, no! Oh, my brother! No! If they were brothers, they would be able to work on this. The one together. guy would just let the other guy go. He'd be like, climb oh, on. Uh, tap, 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 tap. Yes. Yes. That's why you friends. We did it. Good old goatee and sideburns. Whoa. Goatee and sideburns. Yeah, there we go. And we oh my god. Now in a greenhouse. Let's go. Oh, where? Where do we go? This way, this way. Wait, I've got to lift yeah, this yeah. thing up. Uh, it's one of those two person garage doors. Whoa, where are we? Oh, here, this way. Oh, oh, God. Wait, I forget my inhaler. Yeah. <laughs> Look at how shiny our shirts are. So shiny. The shiniest shirts there are. These guys are terrible these, these shots. Are terrible. <laughs> <laughs> this is the same thing. Just, these guys are terrible shots. We're clear, clear targets. Oh. Feeling very Shawshank mud. Well, there it is. We beat the game. We escaped from the prison. That felt great. We did it. I want to get arrested now. I'm so amped up. I yeah. feel like I could do this in real yeah, life. Yeah, we got to get arrested, go back in, and just keep doing it. If it was the 70s and I had a really good friend, I could break out of a prison exactly. in no time. Exactly. Uh, well, guys, it's 1 o'clock. It's going to do it for us. Yes. Uh, for Stream Coco. Uh, Moses Storm, everybody. Moses Storm. Uh, come uh, see Up and Up tonight with Moses Storm, a Dynasty it. typewriter oh, in Los oh, Angeles, California. That. It's going to be a great show. Yeah. Pete Holmes, Ron Funches, yeah. Matt Bronger. Uh, uh, some amazing Sun Chips comedy. Amazing. Amazing sunshine. Some amazing. Yeah, 45 minute bit. Thing. Wild no animals roaming the theater. It's going to be quite. Uh, it's going to be like American Gladiators esque, I think. Absolutely. You know? You'll be head to toe in silver. We will be immediately sued for copyright <laughs> infringement. It is so much like American it's Gladiator. Gonna be insane. It's, it's a problem. That's uh, 8 o'clock tonight. 8 o'clock tonight. Come out. Follow this guy at Moses Storm on everything Instagram, Facebook, all these things. And of course, go to at Team Coco on Instagram or Facebook for a ticket link to come see the show tonight. Thank you guys for joining us. Yes. See you guys later. See you later. Bye. Play, everyone.